everyone. I'd like you to meet Karen. We're very excited to have her here at Oil Corp. It's a privilege to be here. Karen, this is Darla from Marketing. Ted's one of our managers, and uh, Chris is assigned to play devil's advocate in all of our meetings. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started, shall we? Now, last week we discussed the possibility of opening up an oil refinery just outside of Houston. Now, it looks good on paper, but is there anything we should consider before launching? No, not at all. Well, if I could just play devil's advocate for a second. Okay. Instead of the refinery, have we considered selling our souls to the devil for immortality? <laughs> Excellent idea, Chris. Yes, yeah, thank you. Immortality. I'm good. sorry, did you hear what he just said? Oh, you're right. We should definitely think this through. Um, Darla, can you give me a cost-benefit analysis on Chris's proposal? Sure. It looks like the main benefit is immortality, mm -hmm. and the primary cost would be selling our souls to the devil. Great, moving on. All right. <laughs> what? All right, uh, now our br branch in Alaska needs a new manager. Any suggestions? Well, according to the numbers, Ted's been doing an excellent job, and he's in line for a promotion. Yeah, he is. Alternatively, <laughs> alternatively, if I could just play devil's advocate again. Of course. We could hold a seance and then summon the ghost of oil tycoon John D. Rockefeller. Hmm. <laughs> so our options are Ted mm -hmm. or the reanimated corpse of Rockefeller? Exactly. <laughs> I gotta go with John D on this one. Yeah. Just to clarify, we would have to sell our souls to the devil, so. We could sell Ted's soul. There we go. Team player. I don't understand what's going on. Maybe a visual aid will help you. If you, if you look at this graph right here, this red line represents profits. This blue line represents souls over time. Mm. This drop off happens when we shake the icy hand of the devil and banish our souls to the unquenchable fires of Hades for all of eternity, so. All right. I'm, I'm sorry, this isn't a real solution. Is selling our souls supposed to help, help us with our debt problem? Not necessarily. We could also worship this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then sell our souls. <laughs> okay, we're not selling our souls. Relax, Karen. We're oil executives. We'd hardly notice they're gone. <laughs> Plus, our entire success has been built on souls. True. That means the record sales quarter last month? Five souls. <laughs> the new office computer? Six souls. That's right. The high score on the Pac-Man in the break room? That was actually 30 souls. I uh, <laughs> ran out of quarters, so. <laughs> you see, the devil has done wonders for the oil industry. You know, it's almost his birthday. We should send him a thank you soul. Great idea. Yes. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't think this is going to work out. What? If you'll excuse me. Karen. Oh. Well, it's probably for the best. <laughs> she obviously didn't have what it takes to make it in this industry. No, I suppose. Sir, the devil is here for Ted's soul. All right, send him in. Ted, can I get you to sign this in your own blood? Thank you. Sure. Oh, he brought his own. That's great. Oh, good. The dagger. Thank you. Just right. in case. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe, and in exchange, we'll give you... Our eternal souls! Except this one. Ginger. you ginger under there, right? I'm not... In the sketch, I'm not ginger, so... Shut down that joke.